Hey everybody, it's Boricua Pop and I'm back. Uh, I have a new workflow um, that uses Hanyuan 3D 2.1. I finally found a custom node by a user named Visual Bruno who made the custom node that actually generates the 3D mesh as we see here as well as the PBR textures. So it actually creates a shader that uses a base color and a roughness map. And uh, I've been trying to find a use case for this and I found it by basically generating this Mega Man character um, which I found from a Civetai user named Larejo10. He used SDXL and generated it with a Bora. Uh, but here is the PBR shit textures being generated by the Hanyuan 3D 2.1 model. This is the roughness map here and it's pretty awesome that it was able to tell that uh, Mega Man is a uh, sort of metallic character. Um, so here in the Comfy UI 3D preview node, you can see that it has the highlights. And as I tumble the camera around, you can see that the specular um, or the reflections, they roll off on his helmet and the cart as well. Uh, and it looks pretty decent. Um, and basically what I wanted to do in this workflow is a bit of a hybrid workflow. So I generate the character with the shaders in Comfy UI and then I take that into Blender. Uh, so here we are in Blender and basically what I want to do is actually create a character for uh, Mario Kart PC port. Uh, oh, here's the shader. So it actually gives us the base color and the roughness map here. And the PBR shader is already pre-built in Blender when you import the GLB into it. Uh, here I turned on the viewport shading. And then here's now with the lighting as well. Uh, the, there's like a three-point light system. There's a top light, uh, light from the right, and then a bit of a front fill light. Um, so yeah, this is the quality of it. It's still a triangulated mesh, uh, but in this process, I wanted to bypass cleaning it up or make it, making it into a quad uh, clean character for animation. I actually just used this template uh, that has a cart and a bit of a rig. Um, so here's just also the uh, viewport render, just using Eevee. Uh, and then I do a render with cycles here. Uh, and this is a 1920 by 1080 uh, render. Uh, but it's pretty awesome. Like it's, it's not a clean model. Uh, you can see that the specular reflections have a bit of a break to them on the it's just kind of like the a warble uh, pattern, um, but it's decent enough for my use case. And what I'm going to be doing is actually making uh, sprite renders, because uh, that's how the game Spaghetti Cart uh, used to have the characters done back in the day, in the 90s. Uh, it was a game for the N64. Uh, so they couldn't do 3D, like very heavy poly models, so they actually used sprite based renders. Uh, this is the animation of the car. I, I noticed though here as I'm scrubbing through the timeline that my ground plane it was penetrating the wheels, so I didn't want to get that hard cutoff shadow, so I'm lowering it down a bit here. And I'm using the ground just to get a bit more of the occlusion under the cart, as well as get a bit of a darker kind of road reflection on the metals of the character here yeah this is the animation for when the character gets damaged so he just tumbles around uh, here i'm just uh, looking up from the bottom up just to make sure he doesn't crash through it and the ground plane is actually not visible to camera when i do the rendering uh, and i'm rendering it at 256 by 256 square and the uh, render frame range is from 0 to 320. Um, as this is rendering now, it is pretty... The, the material response to the lights look pretty good. So I actually haven't done any sort of cleanup on the character, right? It's just the mesh that I got from Comfy and the Hanyuan 3D 2.1 uh, output. Uh, so let's just let this continue to render. It's pretty quickly. It's actually using cycles with the CPU render mode. Oh, when I generate the mesh using the Hanyuan 3D 2.1 custom node, 
Uh, I have a 16 gigabyte GPU with 64 gigs of RAM, and it took about three minutes to generate from the image to the mesh, and then the mesh gets uh, textured with the base color and roughness map. Um, I, I did also create a different character, a uh, Waluigi character, but that one I did it using the Kijai Hanyuan 3D wrapper because uh, he implemented the ability to use the 2.1 Hanyuan model, but it only was generating the gray shaded mesh. And I when I was using the Hanyuan 3D wrapper from Kijai, I did use the texture um, nodes that he has. Uh, but those are like the, the old way, so they, it, they don't have the PBR material qualities when you generate with those. Uh, so the other character that I made, I actually then put it through a bit of a longer pipeline process where I actually took it into a different software and I made it quad based, gave it better UVs. Then I rigged it and animated it uh, in a different tool because I'm actually more familiar with like uh, Maya and Max uh, but this process here I wanted to stay with using the open source tools so it's just comfy and blender um, and besides that uh, after I made the previous character uh, it, it, it took a, little, a bit longer actually would say it took about two day turnaround whereas this one I just did it today in about three hours from generating the mesh and PBR textures all the way through to the um, putting it in-game. So after the render finishes here, uh, what I do is actually use some other tools uh, with visual code. So I actually did a bit of uh, tweaks to some of the C++, C++ um, source code that's part of the mod. Uh, but the way that the mod works, you, we can actually just render these sprite images and put it into a folder, zip it up, and then change the uh, type of the folder to a uh, .o2r, and the game is able to just import the character. Uh, it does replace one of the characters, so in this case, I'm going to make Mega Man replace the Luigi character. Uh, besides the turn turnaround animations that we see here, there's a few other renders that I did, kind of like the portrait image of him when you see it in the upper left corner, showing the position that he is in the race, and also the when you do the character selection, there's the icon for him uh, that's usually animated, uh, but in this case I just made made it just be a front profile or front view render uh, without any animation just to get through it quickly and one of the things I did as well here so the character is able to get feel more alive even though it's a triangulated mesh I actually um, rigged it with the character rig that was already in this blender scene template and I just painted the weights uh, for the head so that he could rotate his head as he does his turning left or right and that way you're able to see that he kind of does a bit of a uh, sway left and right as he turns, uh, as he races. So as the render here is about to finish, um, next I'll just show the game um, so you can see it. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, but Oh, actually, before we do that, uh, here's the custom note that I said we use from Visual Bruno. And now here's the game. Wait. Mario Kart! Mario Grand Prix! Select your player! Yahoo! Select map!
Luigi, number one.